And you growing up in Milwaukee, how does it feel to take the court for Bucks growing up? It's a dream. You know, I just remember coming to these games with my brother and one of our friends, sitting all the way up in the nosebleed sections, watching uh, Ray Allen and those guys, and getting autographs from. We just I can go back home and look at all the autographs that we have on basketball cards and things like that. Um, it's my favorite team. Uh, me and my brother grew up watching the Bucks, and this is our favorite team. You know, Big Dog, Ray Allen, Sam Cassell, all those guys. It's just you know, just to be here. It's a dream, you know. I, as a little kid, I never thought that, that I'd be here. You know, just being able to be a part of this. How much do you talk to your brother about just the grind that the NBA is, and, and what different mindset it takes, and, and what you've been through? Um, not much. Um, when me and my brother talk, you know, it's kind of how you doing and, and things like that. He's just checking up on me and giving me some advice. Um, seeing what he goes through, I kind of just view it from a, a distance, you know. And I, I, you know, think my own thoughts about how it is. So, Luke, what are you trying to show a team in these workouts in these types of settings? I mean, just coming in here, like in Milwaukee, I'm just, you know, coming here to show them, you know, a little bit of my game more than I see on TV probably all year. A little bit, you know, I could step up, my athleticism, just try to show them some things that they probably don't know. And what do they tell you that? they'd like to see from you because obviously you know they know pretty much about you yeah. from watching you but what are some things that you know they tell you they want to see that they maybe you have some questions about? I think they see, want to see me go against a little more length and uh, you know athleticism and you know see what I'm like on the perimeter I can handle a little bit of things like that maybe you know change it up from a little of my game what I was in college in Notre Dame but what was that the, something that at Notre Dame you were doing though because it seemed like this past year you were a little bit more further out dribble penetration kind of things against the bigger guys? Yeah, you know, when I play against length, like let's say for a guy like Nishim to beat, I'm going to have to come out and use my, my quickness and ability, you know, to draw him away from the basket. That's what I have to do in the NBA. Luke Carr, uh, you know, I, I see this comment from Mike Bray. They said Did, you're looking for a first round guarantee or you might go back to school. What, what is your thinking right Right now, I'm just kind of going through the process. This is only my third workout. You know, I'm just curious to see how things are going and, you know, hear some feedback. So, you know, right now, you know, I'm just playing the whole thing out. What What are you finding so far in, the, in your experience? Um, <laughs> you know, this is my third workout, three days, and, you know, it's been great so far. So, I mean, I've gotten good feedback and you know, things like that. So, uh, you know, I'm enjoying the process so far, but, you know, we're just going to sit down with my family and talk about things. Who, who else did you work out with? Uh, Miami and Cleveland. Miami and Cleveland. There. Uh, overall, I think, uh, I think I did pretty well. I think every, all the guys came out and competed real hard, and, you know, we showed what we can do. What are you trying to show that maybe a team doesn't already know about you in these, these types of workouts? Uh, I mean, pretty much everybody knows I can, I can shoot the ball pretty well. Uh, I want to show that, you know, I have a, a high basketball IQ, which, like I said, they, people know that. But, you know, mainly I want to show them that I can play the point guard and get in the paint and, and find the open guy and, you know, and just finish with the, with the big guys. Are there some people who question whether you're a true point guard or not, or is uh, that something you feel you have to prove? Yeah, I think I think every worker I'm at to you know try to prove that you know just with whether I'm a one or two. Uh, you know, I, I kind of look at it, I'm, I'm a basketball player, but also you know I can I can play the point guard position, and, and that's you know where I've always played. I didn't get the opportunity to play in college, you know, uh, just from what my team needed me to do. But you know, I, I can play the point guard position. That's where I want to go out and show. Start with my Andrew. How's yeah, you start. Uh, Mark Schlandry, yes, yeah, sir. Did a good job, just like uh, Kravinov did yesterday. Uh, you can see why Wisconsin has such a good team. You know, solid player, does all the little things well. Uh, very competitive. Did a good job. What did you see out of Heron Gilly? Uh, very impressed. Um, I think he's a little more athletic than people think. Um, obviously, he can shoot it. He's tough. Uh, I know he's got a big decision whether to stay in or go back to school. Um, he's definitely an NBA player when he does decide to come out. Uh, I'm sure he's got to decide, you know, is he a first rounder, get information, that kind of thing, probably dictate whether he goes back or not. But uh, I, I like him as a player. Uh, AJ Abrams is a, you know, he's a, he's sort of like a hired gun type guy, sort of like Salim Stoudemire that we signed, you know, a guy that'll come off the bench and just, you know, score some baskets like Eddie House does for Boston. Um, he's improved his point guard skills. He's, he's pretty athletic. Uh, he has gotten stronger, but he needs to get continue to get, but he did a good job. Uh, Jack McLennan, who they, they had a very competitive workout against each other, he, he's similar. He's just a, he's a physical undersized guard that, that can really score. I mean, he can shoot. We saw that today. He has great range. Uh, he's a tough kid. Not, not necessarily a true point guard. Right. 
neither of those guys no, was yeah. really true points. No, right? no they're scores. Um, so they're going to have to prove that they're going to have to create their niche in the NBA. But they'll both have a chance. And then uh, the French kid Nando Ducolo is a good player, combo guard, nice size, can shoot it. Uh, did a very good job. I'm very impressed.